The unbelievers state is like the depth of darkness in a vast deep ocean, overwhelmed with waves topped with waves. That means deep waves are there, internal waves are there, topped with superficial waves. And it further continues, topped with dark clouds. The clouds are the barriers, and even the clouds are in layers. And when a man stretches out his hand, he can hardly see it. Only if Allah gives light can they see. Even the fish that swim in the deep part of the ocean, they cannot see unless they have their own light with them. They have their own light with them. Even the submarine that goes underwater, it carries its own light, otherwise they cannot see underwater. So when Prophet Durga Rao was asked, how come this is mentioned in the Quran 14 years ago? He said, it's impossible for any human being to mention this verse. This Quran has to be a divine revelation. They're some of the most dynamic, dazzling, jaw-dropping displays in nature. It's these rocket ships and explosions of sparks and spewing of what looks like blue smoke. And these long chains look like Japanese lanterns extending off into the distance as far as you can see. It's magic. Some flash. Some sparkle. Others simply glow. But most were only beginning to discover. Suddenly we recognize it, and now we find it everywhere under there. Hidden in the deepest, darkest, most remote stretches of our planet, these luminous critters can be timid performers. But the closer we look, the more we realize the light they create is pervasive. If it wasn't important to the organisms, you wouldn't see it all over the tree of life. Now, scientists are thrusting these cryptic creatures and their fantastic into the limelight. Some are even attempting to harness this light, co-opting millions of years of evolution for the betterment of our own dim species. We have to go down to the ocean to find these animals that give off light so we can then understand ourselves. 